Running should be simple, lacing up your shoes, stepping outside and freeing your mind. But for too many, it's not that simple. It's stressful and sometimes it's scary. Seven o'clock on a Sunday morning. It's pitch black. I can't, without these two lights, one on my camera, one here, I wouldn't be able to see a thing. So it's actually quite intimidating. It's making me quite anxious. So, with that, as I said, without these lights and these safety gear that I've got on, I certainly wouldn't be running in this area at this time. So, let's take a look at the sort of things that make me feel safer during my run. I was inspired to create this video after reading a BBC article entitled Cat Calls and Being Followed, Why I'm Scared to Run. It hit me hard. Running is supposed to help us feel stronger both mentally and physically. But for many runners, especially women, it comes with that fear of harassment or worse, by mainly men and as a husband to a wife who has those concerns and who I have concerns about her going out alone it's something that should be changed. Running in the dark can be scary and I know that I'm in a bit of a privileged position because of my gender but that doesn't mean that slow down because it's so dark can't really see but that doesn't mean that I've not been in a position where I've been feeling anxious while I've run, been running or felt a bit intimidated. So these tips are for everybody. Today I'm diving into tech and tips that prioritise safety, especially in those dark and winter evenings or mornings or whenever you run. This isn't just about better runs, it's about making sure that everyone, both women and men, can run with confidence, whether it's in the dark, during winter or anywhere else where they may feel vulnerable. And the first thing you need for running safely in the dark is a light. Mine is this high powered LED light that goes around my chest that makes me visible from a distance because if drivers, cyclists or others around you can't see you, things can get dangerous fast. Now you can go for a clip on light or a headlamp or both. It's not just about being seen, it's about seeing too. Whether that's potholes, icy patches or stray animals, you'll want to avoid those surprises. Now this light that I've got, which I will leave the links to everything shown in this video in the description below has a bright white light at the front with free intensity settings and a red light at the back. It might not look stylish with all those wires and everything but it certainly feels a lot safer wearing this on those dark runs. It's pitch black out here, I cannot see a thing. Without this light and the light that's on my camera it would be totally dark and I'd be even more intimidated than I am right now. So very dark. What time is it? It's about seven o'clock Sunday morning. It's pitch black. Thankfully it's quiet. There's no one out here so let's keep running. Trust me this light has saved me from more twisted ankles than I care to admit and it does help me in making me feel safer. A reflective gear is a must. A reflective jacket or vest lights up like a neon sign when headlights hit you and that's the goal. Shoes, gloves, hats, even leggings now come with those same reflective elements. So there's no excuse to go unnoticed. Visibility equals safety. And when it's dark, reflective gear is your armor. And if you haven't got anything reflective, then wearing clothes that are bright can be equally as protective. Now I go in this sometimes, it's quite loud and it's quite bright and it's perfect for when you haven't got that reflective gear. I get it. Music or podcast are a non-negotiable for many runners, but here's the deal. Traditional headphones or noise cancelling headphones aren't safe in low light, high risk areas and sometimes during the day. Bone conduction headphones. These let you hear whatever you're listening to and also what's happening around you. Cars, footsteps or someone calling out. It's the best way to stay aware while still jamming to your favourite tunes. These are the Shocks Open Move wireless bone conducting headphones. And the reason why I bought them is because I used to run with my AirPods Pro, but recently they've been prone to just falling out of my ear. Another reason which is very important to some certain runners is security. Obviously with in-ear headphones or over-the-ear headphones, you essentially close your eyes, you, 
you essentially close yourself off to the outside world. But with these, they sit there on the air, they sit there and allow you to listen to your music or podcasts while still being able to listen to your surroundings. If you want your music but also want to stay safe then these surely are a no-brainer. And if you don't have bone conduction headphones like these but in-ear or over-the-air headphones then you should have them in transparency mode as a minimum for your own safety. But even transparency modes like on the AirPods Pro, which I think are pretty good, but they aren't perfect. Whichever choice you make regarding audio during your run, as a minimum, you should be making sure that you can at least be aware of your surroundings. The watch that I've got on here is more than a fitness tracker, it's a safety tool. This watch, the Garmin Phoenix 7 and plenty of other watches like these have live tracking features that will let your family and friends see where you are in real time. So if I stop suddenly or don't check in, they can reach out or send help. It's these kind of features on watches like these that are a game changer for solo runners. It's like having a safety net on your wrist and it works even in areas where your phone might not be able to. These important acts in addition to verbally informing someone that you're going out, specifying the route that you're taking and providing an estimated return time serve as a great form of safety communication. If you can't do the watch method, which isn't vital as not everyone has watches like these, but you should definitely be doing the verbal method. section encompasses all tracking devices like the air tags or your phone or even things like your earphones I keep an air tag on my keys when I run it's lightweight it's discreet and it lets my family track my location for a low-cost device if you've got an iPhone and you're in that Apple ecosystem it offers a huge peace of mind but there are similar tracking devices like these available if you haven't got an iPhone so whether I'm running for the city or on a quiet trail it's one more layer of safety that lets me focus on my run and not what might happen. And although these do get a lot of negative press, especially when they came out because of their covert tracking ability, it's that same covert tracking ability that could keep you safe because of the ecosystem that it lives in. You are going to be more trackable in real time. I know it's not really safety related, but let's take a look at the camera with the light. Finally, and I know this is a bit more tailored towards content creators who document their fitness journeys like I do. This is probably my wild card, so let's talk about cameras. I use the DJI Osmo Action 3 and it's great while documenting my runs. For me, it also acts as a deterrent and with the lights attached to it, if you're filming, anyone with bad intentions is less likely to approach you because it's like having an extra set of eyes and in this generation where people don't really want to be in film doing something incriminating, Having something like this could be something to think about. And for me, I'd rather be using this than my phone. Running should never feel like something to fear. It should be a chance to grow stronger, clear your mind and connect with yourself. In reality though, some of us feel unsafe when we do step out of the door. That's not fair. But until things change, we can take those steps to protect ourselves. I'm running right now. This is how dark it is. Without these lights on. There are, of course, many other ways of protecting yourself, like being in contact with someone on the phone, regular checkups while you're out, joining run clubs. You know what's better than running alone? Running with friends. Or running with pets, which puts safety in numbers, and running on known roads or in built up populated areas. If you've got any other ways that I've missed in this video to protect yourself and stay safe during your runs, please let me know in the comments below and share your experiences with everyone. The tech we talked about today, some more geared towards safety, others geared towards winter running, the lights, the reflective gear, the headphones, trackers, these aren't just tools. They're ways to reclaim your run and your confidence. For this area that I'm running, this is what it usually looks like. So you can definitely see why I definitely need this light for running this route right now. Running is for everyone and while there are people out there who will try to take advantage of that together hopefully we can make it safer for all of us. If you enjoyed this video press that like button and subscribe to the channel for more tech videos just like this. Stay safe, stay seen and keep running.